Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is going to be a fall lookbook. I did an earlier fall lookbook uh, maybe about a month and a half ago. It was one of those weeks when we had, you know, 70, 70 degree weather in October. Well, and of course, you know, when you do a fall lookbook, everybody wants to see the sweaters and the leather jackets and the boots. And I don't think I had any in that one. I was still dressing pretty lightly, just throwing on a sweater for when it went from 50 degrees in the morning to 70 degrees in the afternoon. Around this time of year, later into the fall, it's getting a little more wintry. You never know. You're going to wake up and it's 30 degrees. By the end of the day, it could be 60. Layers are important. Scarves are important. I feel like I have shown you all my clothes. I really haven't been shopping that much lately, so some of this will be new to you, some will be old to you. This is kind of how to update your look with accessories. So I have a lot of new necklaces, a lot of new scarves, and that's where I've been purchasing more is in the accessory department lately. So let me go ahead and show you what I have to offer. These are four looks that I will be wearing this fall 2014. All right, this outfit is pretty much my go-to everyday outfit. Well, it, it varies between one of two things. It's jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt with a sweater and a little leather jacket, or leggings with a longer sweater and a scarf. But this is the basics. So this is the jeans one. Let me start at the top. The necklace I have on today is a Forever 21 necklace. Oh, I just love this necklace. This is current season. I just got it. It's a big metal bib necklace, very tribal with a lot of detail. And the top I have on is a purple James Purse long sleeve tee. The jeans are Hudson jeans with the flappy pocket, and they are super skinnies. And then at the bottom, I have Nordstrom booties in black suede. Full leather jacket from Forever 21, and I also have a scarf from the BP department at Nordstrom to top the whole look off. This little faux leather jacket has all the great biker details. It's got the um, diagonal uh, diamond plate stitching on the shoulder. It's got little zippers at the cuffs. And then it's just a nice slim fit with a little zipper pocket here. It's cropped, so my shirt hangs out back long in the back. And then this scarf is an infinity scarf. I love infinity scarves. No figuring out what to do with the ends or how to tie it. And it's a big and warm and woolly, and it just sits nicely on top of the jacket, which doesn't have a collar, which is very convenient. I can wear this out, zipper it up, put on some gloves, and I'll be toasty warm and get there. Or I can put on a coat over it if it's really cold because it's the sleeves are tapered and not tight, but small enough that you can get them inside another jacket. Then when I get there, all I have to do is take off the scarf and the gloves, and this makes a cute outfit on its own. All right, this outfit is the other kind I talked about, which is leggings, boots, and a long sweater. So starting at the top, I have this sweater, which is a uh, Neiman Marcus sweater. I got it at the last call at Neiman Marcus um, studio. But I love this sweater. It's all textury. It's a nice smooth knit at the top. And then from the shoulders down, it's got this um, nice weave to it. It's a high-low sweater. And I have this necklace on with it that I love. Unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly what brand I, this is. I've shown it in another couple of videos, and people always ask about it. On the bottom half, I'm wearing Lululemon leggings and a pair of riding boots. They're from the BP department at Nordstrom. And then between the boots and the leggings, I have um, a cute pair of knee socks that kind of fills the gap. I have too much boot swimming around my leg with too much space to fill, and I think it looks not good sometimes. So a lot of times the solution is to put on a knee sock in between, and I love these little socks. They're very dainty and girly, and they have kind of a roughly lacy edge. I got them at Urban Outfitters last year, but I have seen that Urban Outfitters does have more of these kind of socks, boot socks, um, for sale this year. And just to show you the detail on these two items, this scarf is by A Coat, and this is also from uh, Nordstrom. It's red with a little print, and it also has little metal findings in it. So this is a really cool scarf. Again, an infinity scarf, which is my favorite. Just wrap it around twice, you're good to go. My coat is by ASOS. Um, this is a beautiful coat. I got it last year on their website and I looked long and hard for a coat like this because a lot of my sweaters are long and I have a hard time finding a fall coat to put over my long sweaters. So I was looking for something long but that wasn't too heavy. I didn't want a big down puffer coat for this time of year. I was looking for leather trim and this has it all. 
It's got leather trim. It's got great details. Um, the sleeves are actually navy blue with little leather, bleh, leather trim around the cuff. And then the body of the jacket is a black and white um, kind of a twill with a big zipper, a big tall stand-up collar, which is great here in New England because so often if the wind's blowing, my neck is just cold so I can, you know, wrap the scarf around yet a third time and then pull up the, uh, pull up the collar. Let's see, I can wrap this around a little tighter. Put, put my little pin head through there a third time. And now if I pull the collar up, and zipper up this coat. I have total neck coverage. No wind is getting in there. I'll be toasty warm and ready to go. All right, this next outfit is a super casual, super comfy outfit to wear on a day like today where it is rainy and blustery, but not too cold out. It's about 55, 60 degrees out. So I'm wearing a dark, dark, dark gray, nice, warm, cozy sweater with uh, actually the whole top half of this outfit is from Urban Outfitters, my favorite store. So dark gray sweater from Urban Outfitters. This necklace, oh, let's see, can I get it up there? Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, sometimes I wish it was kind of on a shorter chain, but anyway, that's how long it is. It's from Urban Outfitters. Can you see? There we go. It's a beautiful V-neck cut, a nice deep V, kind of sits wide on the shoulders, which is lovely, and a full long sleeve. I'm wearing it with my favorite everyday kind of grungy American Eagle jeans. And then on the bottom, I have Hunter Rain Boots. These are little um, cropped wellies that are perfect for running around on a day like this, or if I have to go watch my kids play in a game at the field, uh, these Hunter wellies are great so I don't get all muddy. All right, so with this one, when I'm ready to put on the scarf, this is not an infinity scarf. So this one you actually have to tie. And look everybody, a little pop of color. You love this scarf, isn't it beautiful? I can't believe it was like $5 at, um, Forever 21. Anyway, to put this one on, you drape the scarf over your hand. Uh, you can do the ends even or a little bit off. I like them to be just a little bit off. So then I just pull it around my neck like this, leaving my hand through the opening. Then I take the shorter end of the scarf and I just feed it right through that opening. Then once it's through there, I give the scarf a twist and then hold that open with my fingers and feed the other end through. And there you have it. So it's a little more of a braidy kind of look than the standard just feed it right through. Then when it's time to head to the field and it's dribbly out, I put on this lightweight Michael Kors puffer coat. It's actually not big and bulky because it's just a very thin downlined uh, sports jacket, but the sleeves are just um, not neoprene, but nylon. And so this is great for running. It's great for going to an event. It has those little thummy holes, so it keeps my hands nice and warm. It's got a little bit of reflective trim down the front, so if I do go running or biking in it, people can see me. But in general, I just wear this. Again, it has that nice tall collar so I can keep my neck warm. And with the scarf, it just steps it up a notch into more fashionable than not. So here is the whole look. I just love these little cute cropped hunter wellies. And this last outfit would be great for a holiday party, an open house, uh, Thanksgiving dinner, something like that. A little bit dressy, but not super over the top dressy. Starting at the top, this necklace I've shown you many times before. This is a Stella and Dot necklace. Um, it has little fabric running through it, woven through it, as well as three tones of black and gray metal. This top is a little faux leather top from Banana Republic. I just picked it up the other day. It's really cute. It's kind of a fit and flare shape and the leather is only in the front. It's got a little seaming down the front and then the back is just standard um, fabric with a zipper that goes all the way down the back. I have it paired with black J brand super skinny jeans and the Tesori uh, open-toed shoes that I have shown you many, many times. But like I said, this video is just kind of recycling the old, putting it with a few new things to, um, to update it and to make it look fresh. Okay, and to go out for this one, I have this giant black scarf. It's practically a tablecloth. This I got at Zara last winter. I love this. It's like, I, you know, me in the neck and the coldness. This one, I don't do any fancy tying. I just 
drape it around my neck once like this. That's great. So if you go to a party and it's a little chilly, you can drape it around your shoulders. You can use it as a blanket. It's great for traveling on airplanes. And then I have also from Zara a little faux fur jacket that I got. This was right before last Christmas as well. So this is an awesome little piece. It's not trying to look like real fur. It is real suede, I think. But the fur is so obviously fake that that's kind of what I love about it. It's short, little biker style, fit and flare. Well, there you have it. That's my lookbook for today. I hope you enjoyed the little fashion show, and I hope that you all have a great weekend. And uh, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.